What it does is it spreads out your pressure. Do you know how sometimes you'll peel clay off? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. What that's telling you is you are affecting only the outer layer. Okay. Of, and you're peeling it off. You're not. So you're not. You're not compressing it. Oh, Carl okay. Because Carl had a little trick that he would get people started on, just to get the idea. And he called it the tube of toothpaste method. So when the clay is kind of thick like this, a little at the early point, you can come along with a sponge and notice how now instead of being at one point of contact, I'm touching oh, a little okay. wider. That's going to allow me to compress and push the clay in. And so what he would he would kind of say, just press and just press in. And look what happened. The clay moved up. Now go up to the next level and press in and the clay moved up again. And you're not even and really I, And I'm not even doing, I'm not even pulling. I think I get a little nervous there because then I have that bulge and then I but if you don't, pull it and don't. Yeah, but if you're not pulling it, it won't go through. It won't pull off. So you're right. But the thing this does is it just, it's kind of a good technique just to get started because it starts, you know, evening it up. And then when you have that, when you have that, um, going, then you can make it, I call that a static pass, because it's static, you're just doing this. But it kind of shows you something, it shows you that it's the pressure, and you notice that nothing peels off. It's, it's, so then the next one would be, going in like this, I'd still have, so maybe I start with this, this much sponge. Now I'm gonna come back and thin it. See how oh, the sponge is here? Yeah, yeah. Now when it gets really thin, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to keep the sponge back here and I'm working on the tip of my finger but the sponge is laying down liquid and cutting friction oh. right in front of it. So the thing is, as the clay gets thinner, you want less contact with it. When it's thicker, you need more contact with it to keep it from peeling off like that. Honestly, I think I'm using multiple finger tips. Yeah, I and thought that too. That's, I thought that. Yeah, that's not necessarily bad, but sometimes it can confuse you. But if you I, just explained a perfect solution to that because then you're putting you, your fingertips across right, that sponge. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's a flame and it spreads it and makes it one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You're, you're at, that's what it does. It makes that, it makes it, you want the width of two, but it's better if you make it one with a sponge. Now as it gets thinner, you don't need that as much. So now I'm choking back up in a little bit. I've got just a little bit of sponge. And then I'm going to press in and now wow. I'm going to get that bite and then I'm going to now you pull to right? pull now up pull. now it's just my thing but I use the edge of the thumb see that still spreads it rather than being just one point here it spreads it it gives you a better it gives you more stability and then you know what that's really cool if you got uh, long fingernails or you yeah. don't use them you don't use it, you're using the side and you're using the sponge. What a solution for so many Here's things. Here's an easy question. Like are, your, are your hands at the same, they're meeting see. each other, right? Like, um, Yeah, the they're meeting sides. each other here. Uh -huh. They're right about at three o'clock, both of them. Uh -huh. But the right finger is slightly below the left. Because the right finger is on the back bottom. at the very bottom. Yeah. Starts at the very bottom. And then when, now thickness. that the clay is this thin, I'm not. I'm working not on the sponge at all, but it's still there. See what it's doing? It's it's laying down friction. It's laying down moisture right in front of it there. And I would always put a little little That's thin layer of there. little little thin layer of. And then notice I'm touching here. You're all secure getting that bite into the clay. Ooh, and raising it. And notice that was three passes. Nice. Just oh, kind of nice. just kind of getting after it like so that. Cool. And now you can collar a little bit, dry it off. Decisive movements. Yeah, yeah, it is. Not really and yeah. Yeah. yeah, hard but decisive. Getting that single yeah. plane will yeah. make a huge difference. Yeah, it is. It's it's kind of it's really about a kind of a
confidence and um, kind of an assertiveness with the clay. Um, the decision is made before you approach it. Yeah. Right? It, it is. Yeah. yeah. One of the great saying about um, Billie Holiday, another musician said that she um, approached a note from a long way off. Mm -hmm. She didn't just get to the note and then make it up. She knew where, where, where her was voice that before, was. Yeah. yeah. She saw it like three notes before she was there. She saw where that, where that line was going. That's, that's like changing a, lane in traffic or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's such a beautiful compliment.